Welcome back to another video with the Glimpse to the Fam Bam. I'm Trinity. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe before we get started on this video. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> um. Anyways, so today's story time, as y'all can tell by the title, is She Put Me Out and She Took My Money. So, let's get started. I recorded this once, but y'all couldn't see me, so yeah anyways okay so um anybody that was around like during that era knows the issues that me and my mom had um y'all know that together we clash so we just better we be apart now um my uncle was dating this woman and they was probably like 20 something years older than us um but he him and her was probably like 20 something years older than me and they ended up splitting um but that's neither here nor there they end up splitting so anyways she was still around our family and the point that i'm getting at she was around our family long enough to know and see a lot of the stuff that was going on with me and my mama and she would be asking questions like what's going on like you know why she act like that or you know why she doing you like that da, 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 da. these are questions she would ask and she would like you know so i thought that you know like maybe she cared um, so anyways, me and my mom got into it. We had a, our, but it, this was different than the other times. It was bad. So, um, I ended up leaving. I went to her house to go talk to her because she didn't live far from where my mama was at the time. Um, so like I said, I went to her house to go talk to her and I asked her if it would be okay for me to stay there. But she also offered. So it was like she offered, but I also asked, like, you know, if, if it's cool with you. You know, basically, if it's not going to be a hassle. She was like, no, no. And I was like, you know, I can help out here and there um, or whatever. So she was like, yeah, that's cool. So anyways, I had been there for approximately maybe three or four days. I want to say four. And the reason why I want to say four is because I just don't know. But the greater number always seemed to be there. So in about three or four days, um, on the third day, I want to say, I, on the third, and let me, let me, a side note, the actual third day and fourth day, I didn't even stay there because I had love. So anyways, let's, let's, let's take that. So anyways, on that, about the third day, I went and I was going to the mall with my boyfriend at the time. And, um, we went and we met up at the mall. Now she told me to call her if I needed her to pick me up. Um, and you know, to go to the party or, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay. She's like, and now I'll see you later. Okay, cool, cool. My phone had died because I was originally going to go to the party, but my phone had ended up dying. So I wasn't able to like, you know, call her. I didn't know her number by heart. And like I said, I had only been there for a few days. So I didn't know her number by heart. So I wasn't able to do that. And so, um, Earlier on, she told me, it was like, you know, give me your money, let me hold it so you don't spend it. Da -da -da. Me being young and dumb, I did that. So, I gave her the money for her to hold. This is prior, like, two days prior before she even went. Like, this is probably about the first day, second day I was there. Um, But, anyways, that's beside the point. So, she had my money. Just keep that in mind. So, anyways... Um, what I say, I went to the mall with my ex-boyfriend at the time, and then when we got to the mall, you know, we was hanging out and all this stuff like that, and then my phone had ended up dying. When my phone died, I didn't have a way to call her, because her number was in my phone, but I could no longer call her, because my phone had died. And so, um, that night, I didn't go back, I ended up going with my ex-boyfriend after we left the mall, and I ended up going to his friend's house, who was a couple years older, who had his own apartment. So, we did that. Then the next day, I ended up going back to her house. I got there maybe an hour before her, or a little while before her, and I ended up sitting out on her porch, you know, waiting for her to come back. So when she got back, or whatever, um, when she got back, she was acting like, you could tell, like, how a person act different than they did before, like how a person no longer needs you, so now they, you know, acting funny, acting stank, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, acting like they got pee in their Cheerios. That was her. So anyway, she come, uh, she goes to the door. She unlocked the door, and whenever I go inside or whatever, she like, can I speak to you? So I'm like, yeah, like you know, no, I, I didn't have an attitude. I was like, look, yeah, I was like yeah. So we're going on our couch, and she's like, um, this ain't gonna work. She was like, this ain't gonna work because you, um, 
you didn't, you know, basically I didn't go to her daughter's party. And I'm like, I couldn't. Like, you know, I, my phone had died or I would have called. She's like, you could have called me from somebody else's phone. And I'm like, I couldn't because I didn't know your number by heart and my phone was dead. She's like, well, this ain't going to work and this and that. I'm like, okay. Like, you know, I understand it. I'm not, I'm not allowed to sit up here and beg nobody to do nothing. You don't want me to be in your house? Okay, boom. Mind you, I was 16. I was pregnant at the time. She knew this. And it was nighttime when she put me out. So, just, just, just yeah. So, anyways, um, she ended up, I was like, okay, can you, you know, give me my money? So, she gave me my money. And she don't, she don't tell me that she don't took money from me. So, I give my, like, the rest of my little money or whatever. I go outside her county. I'm missing 200 and something dollars. Um, at 16 years old, not having a job. Not having a job and I'm pregnant. No, no, no. Um, so anyways, I go back to the hold on. I got a message. Alright, my baby, y'all. I said message. I meant to call. But anyways, um, but anyways, I go back to the door and I'm like, no, 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 no. So she opened the door and I'm like, um, you know, like, can you give me the rest of my money? She like, what money? I'm like, the money that was supposed to be with this, the extra 200 and something dollars that was supposed to be with this that I gave you. She's like, oh, that's money that you owe me for the days you was here. Woo, 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 woo. I'm sitting here and thinking in my damn head, like, girl, 200 something dollars to stay over here for four, four, four days. Ain't that, ain't that even two days? I didn't even sleep here. And one of these days is right now. No, so um, it just you know kind of got heated, so she ended up going. She went to go call the police. So I'm like, okay. So the police ended up coming. So when the police come or whatever, she ended up going back inside her house until the police got there. But I'm still at the door because I'm sitting here real deal upset. So she like um, the police come out and they talking or whatever, and he's like, you can't you know you can't go back on her porch. You have to take it to small claims and woo 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 woo. Y'all, it's like I said, she put me out at nighttime, so I ain't had no choice but to get on my two feet, pad and leather, and walk from the west side all the way to the east side. And walking, that's about a 45 minute to an hour walk. So that's what I did. I walked all the way over there. But, anyways, um, she ended up getting it back because she ended up losing her daycare. She had an in, in house daycare. She had an in-house daycare, and she ended up losing her in-house daycare. And I don't boast on it, but I just sit up and say, you did that to me. And, you know, God don't play about his children. And he obviously didn't play about me, and he shut her daycare down. It was about a year later, but I didn't take her to court. I didn't do none of that, but, yeah, they did end up shutting her daycare down. But that's the story talking about how she put me out and took my money. It's two o'clock in the morning i don't know if i already said that it's two o'clock in the morning y'all i thought about this story time so like i came and i had to record it because like i just thought about this but i seen her like a while ago i said like at, but after that like but i don't know how long it's been but i seen her a while ago and i just i don't speak to her i don't say nothing to her um i forgive her she taught me a lesson, though. Don't give my money to people. Don't trust in people. Or believe people. None of that. And it wasn't about the amount of money. It was a lot of money to me because I was a kid. But it was the fact that, like, you took my money. Oh, and I ended up finding out she took that money and she spent it for her daughter's birthday party. So I paid for the birthday party that I didn't even go to. And I think... That was more upsetting to me. I wasn't upset that I didn't go to the party. I was more upset. I ain't even get the cake. And then you didn't even have the decency to put me out the next morning or a couple of days down the line to make it not suspicious. I feel like you put me out because you knew I was going to ask about my money. You put me out because you no longer needed me. You put me out because you wanted me to pay for that party. And that's why you let me come stay over in the first place. But... Who knows? But yeah, her daycare ended up getting shut down. She ain't got no daycare no more. She don't got no certification. Like, none of that. And I don't boast. Like I said, I don't feel good on her failures or her fall downs. But I just feel like, damn, you can only go for so long. 
doing people like that because that one, I wasn't the first person. But you can only go like that for so long. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and tell me any other story times y'all want to hear. Um, I got a story time about my engagement ring being stolen, so I can um, I'll tell y'all that. Um, I got a lot of stories. It's just gonna take time for me to actually think about them, and yeah. And I am writing a book. Like I started it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a reading series on this YouTube channel or if I'm just gonna. Or if I'm just going, you know, um, finish my book and just produce it. But anyways, I'll see y'all later next this video. Good morning slash night because it is late, like 2 o'clock in the morning. And y'all know I keep saying peace. Uh, y'all can go ahead and click off if y'all want to. But I was just going to say um, the quick side note was that the whole fact, like, I, um, dang, this is why, um, I do better writing stories than I do saying them out loud or like I have to write them down usually before I speak them because like I be everywhere but I just y'all bear with me okay and yeah. see y'all